Japan. Landmark Education is a global personal development company. Its seminars in 125 different cities around the world worth millions. In Australia, there's serious concern over its unsettling techniques, starting with intense pressure to hand over thousands of dollars, then taking you on a mental journey you may not be equipped to handle. Laura Sparks investigates. A very direct sort of attacks can fairly abusive. No, we're in Emotionally very distressing. No, we're not sacrificing you. We're not sacrificing for who? I was feeling a bit embarrassed because um, they were sort of belittling me in front of the others. A woman in tears, broken down by a self-development course. This is all just part of a landmark education. Stuck in a sometimes windowless room for 12 to 14 hours. One meal break throughout the day and minimal bathroom visits. One individual after another standing up telling their story, basically being attacked and sort of pulled apart by the person running the, the program. And then later on they'd be sort of put back together and built up again. Sounds harrowing, and yet it's big business. At more than $500 a go, with 160,000 people participating every year. Internationally, Landmark Education turns over a massive $86 million annually. They didn't care where you got the money from, just get it and do it. You have to pay the money to go and understand it, but I can't sit here and explain it. I seriously can't. <laughs> That's, that's the thing. Oh, I know that it gave me self-confidence. And that cost her $500. These women have all been touched by Landmark. Melinda went and loved it. It's very confronting, both the forum and the advanced course. It's things you don't want to know about yourself. Things that her mother Sue, sister Stacy, and acquaintance Catherine had a different view. And they were very persistent in us paying that, that night. So if you have a history of mental health, you can't do the course. Sue and Stacy started noticing changes in Melinda after she completed the Landmark Forum, a three-day introductory course. And then she did a further advanced Landmark course, which cost another $800. Her character changed completely. It wasn't the, mom, the, the daughter that we thought we knew. But if she had have continued, I feel that she would have drifted more, further and further apart. The three dissenters went to information evenings, a landmark recruitment process that runs at the end of each weekend course. Participants are encouraged to bring along family and friends. And the hard sell begins. Catherine Barber was in a small room with seven others. The pressure began after the three-hour session. We really should sign up, but um, we're doing ourselves an injustice if we don't sign up. And we would also be doing our families an injustice. $530 is so insignificant. You've got to get your priorities straight. Um, you know, it's the rest of your life you're talking about. And you're very selfish if you don't hand over that money. Landmark says all participants can receive a refund if they want to leave the course. Once you front up to, a, to an information evening, you have to realise that that's really the beginning of quite a sophisticated psychological process to change the way you believe about yourself and your family and about the world generally around you. Psychologist Louise Samways has concerns Landmark uses a subtle hypnosis technique, detailed in her book, Dangerous Persuaders, where she looks at underlying psychological processes used by self-help groups. Landmark strongly denies this. It's quite a, an intensive process, but basically it's to stop you being able to critically evaluate what's being said and just accept and change your beliefs. There was a big emphasis on recruiting new people to do the course. In fact, it was almost made a condition of your development and progress in the course that you had to recruit new people to join. Terry Kelly did the Landmark Forum and its advanced course because his wife at the time was involved. When his group was asked to talk about how they felt while they were enrolling others to sign up, his answer got him kicked out. People were saying things like, I felt inspired, I felt wonderful, I felt great sharing this with my friends. And uh, I put my hand up and I said, I felt guilty. And suddenly that, in their words, killed the conversation. How did it affect your relationship at the time? It was very difficult. It was considered that uh, I was undermining the relationship and that it certainly didn't help the relationship. The experiences that we have had from people who have come to us has been to the contrary, that where one person does it, 
um, the other one doesn't, the relationship seems to become, in some form or another, more difficult and possibly untenable. It's really important to understand that what you're feeling is normal. Raphael Arad is a counsellor. He's seen the effects Landmark and its ten or more courses have had on some people. It's an extremely intense, extremely draining experience. Now, the people that are running these courses, to my knowledge, are not accredited mental health professionals. Um, they don't necessarily have the expertise to be able to deal with people's emotional aspects or releases or catharsis. Landmark also holds weekend programs for young people from eight years of age and a teenage seminar. Stacy, who has an eight-year-old child, was shocked when, during the information night, Landmark leaders encouraged parents to involve their children. There was one woman that was sitting next to me that night and she actually sent her nine-year-old daughter off into another room. And I, I did not like that. For an hour and a half with total strangers, I just think that's a bit scary. Thousands of Australians walk through the doors of Landmark every year, but when we asked the company if we could interview some of them, they couldn't provide us with any. As far as interviewing a leader here in Australia, well, they said that was going to take them more than two weeks to organise. Instead, they put up a former Chief Health Officer from Western Australia, who has participated in some of the courses. But he wasn't here in Australia, he was in Salt Lake City in the US. And anyway, he wasn't even going to talk on behalf of Landmark. We also got this eight-page statement. In it, they state Landmark Education is recognised as one of the top training and development programs. Over one million people worldwide have participated in the program, and of those surveyed, more than 94% have said that the forum has made a profound and lasting difference in their lives. It's certainly not a question of simply signing up paying a few dollars and doing a course. It's a much more complicated, it's a much more complex setting than often meets the eye on day one or even a little bit further into the course. Laura Sparks reporting.